So my blood pressure's already up. Does that mean that they... Yeah, it'll be fine, he says. Did you watch the lie detector test they did on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? I did not. Because I want to know whether you determined that to be a legitimate test or not. I mean, I can't tell if it was real. Was it real? I did not see that. Well, you ought to check it out. I'd like to oh, let me know your oh. findings. Is your name Sarah Paulson? Yes. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Were you born in the city of Tampa, Florida? Yes, I was. And are you? an Emmy Award-winning actress. Yes. Are you ready to take this lie detector test? Um, no, I'm not really, but I'm gonna do it. My heart just already ticked up. Didn't it, Barry? I think it did. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we talk about your life? So you attended LaGuardia High School in New York, AKA the Fame High School, right? Correct. Did you by any chance watch the movie? before going there. Why do you seem so hostile? Are you like playing a part as like a hostile interrogator? I am the interrogator. Okay, uh, yes, I did watch the movie. Did you watch the 2009 remake? No. Why not? I didn't, I wasn't interested. Did you ever lose a role to this fellow LaGuardia alum? <laughs> Sarah Michelle Gellar. I don't think so. Uh, only a casting director could tell you, but I don't think so. I'm so nervous. Because when my heart races, I'm afraid it's going to no, affect... Okay, no. maybe that's not what you can tell, the blood... What? What? Uh, I don't know. It says here you were a waitress briefly. Is that correct? Very briefly. And is it true that you quit after just one day because you didn't know how to spell Parmesan? That is correct. Can you spell Parmesan now? No, I can't. P A. R, arm, M, Jean. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I actually can't. Well, halfway. Did you have a special way of handling customers that didn't tip well? I wasn't there long enough to receive a tip. I literally went home the same day I started. Okay. Would you consider yourself a good tipper? Yes. I'm a great tipper. Always 20%? Usually more. Isn't that true? That's truthful. You've previously spoken about your fear of clusters of small holes. Is that something you're still afraid of? Yes, I'm not interested in a... Uh, it makes me nervous to talk about. Uh, I don't like anything clustered too close or nestled. I don't like it. Holes. Oh, are you going to show me a hole? What about this cereal? Could you eat this? No. Is this like a wheel, a honey wheel of... What is it? I don't like it. Not interested in that. Take it away so I don't puke on you. What about this movie? Did this movie make you nervous? Why are you doing this to me? No. <laughs> this is the movie Holes. Nope. The word doesn't bother me. And I really like all those actors. That's true. No? Not a lie. I don't see any readout. Oh, you, it will read crazy if it's a lie. Barry makes me nervous. <laughs> Let's move on to... Your career. Uh-oh. You've been collaborating with Ryan Murphy for almost 10 years. Is that correct? Correct. I mean, I don't know if it's the exact year, but yeah, I'm going to trust that you researched that. Do you think you're his favorite of all the American <laughs> Horror Story cast members? I don't. I think his favorite is Jessica Lang. Do you think this man is his least favorite? <laughs> I don't think he's mad at Evan. I love Evan. I miss Evan. Could you name all of the eight seasons of American Horror Story in ten seconds? All of the eight seasons, meaning their full titles? Just the names. The names. Okay, action? Murder House, Asylum, Coven, Freak Show, Hotel, Roanoke, Cult, a Cop Apocalypse. You did it. I did it! Not bad. Whew. What about the other seven members of your Ocean's 8 crew? Could you name them? Okay. Uh, Action, Sandy, Kate, Mindy, Nora, Aquafina, uh, me, um, Rihanna, Anne Hathaway. <laughs> Is eight a recurring number in your life? I don't think so. Be honest. 
Are you a part of the Illuminati? No. Are you in the Illuminati? You're a very angry person. You ask a lot of questions with a lot of anger in your voice. I just want you to know that. It doesn't make a person entirely comfortable. Making people comfortable isn't my job. You took part in a jewelry heist in Ocean's 8. You ever stolen anything in real life? Yes. Oh, do tell. Can't I plead the fifth? What was it? I stole, I, I stole a lot of candy when I was a kid from the local store. I apologize, Barry, for that. Yeah, I'm going to plead the fifth, but there was another larger steal. It's embarrassing to talk about. I was very young. Too, too old to have done it, but, but young. And you portrayed Marsha Clark in American Crime Story, right? Yes. And I heard you wore her perfume while playing the role. Yes. Did you like the smell of that perfume? No, it stunk. It stunk so bad it was like the bottom of a pond. Like, like a fecund moss, peat moss. Marsha didn't like my saying that because it made it seem like she was stinky at that time. But she wasn't stinky at that time. The perfume had turned because I bought it on eBay. So she didn't smell. Back then it probably smelled good and fresh. But when I wore it, it smelled like Okay, let's move on to pop culture. Uh-oh. You've talked about your allegiance to the Real Housewives series. Yes. Oh, you're going to make me pick a favorite. <sighs> with Bethany Frankel not returning for this season of New York, do you think the show will survive without her? I think the star of the Beverly Hills... Um, um, sorry. <laughs> Very nerd. I think the star of the Real Housewives is the franchise itself, so I think it will survive without her, yes. Although I personally will miss her. I'd like them to bring back Jill Zarin, though, personally. Will you miss Lisa Vanderpump? Um, you know, I don't want to. I don't want her coming after me on Twitter. But I won't. I won't miss her. I'll miss the dynamic she brings to the group, which is, you know, the fear of God she instills in everyone. But, but no, I won't miss her. I met her once at a party. She wasn't that nice to me. Am I going to get in trouble for that? She wasn't that nice. If your acting career were ever to plateau, would you join the cast of Real Housewives? Yes. Which one? New York. New York is my number one. It's my OG, as the kids say. Have you ever considered what your tagline would be? Um, probably what my tagline is on Twitter, too. Just always hungry. I'm an actress, after all. You've been best friends with Amanda Peet for over 20 years. Is that correct? Correct. <laughs> That's my best friend. There she is, you guys. And she's married to Game of Thrones co-creator David Benioff. Yes. Did you ever ask her to help get you a role on Game of Thrones? No. Did you know what would happen before the final season aired? No. They wouldn't tell me. And also, I didn't want to know, because I'm such a rabid fan, it was like I didn't want it to be ruined for me. Should a woman have been chosen for the Iron Throne? Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm happy with how it ended. I just wish it hadn't ended. Is that a lie? She has not lied this entire session. So far, I've told no fibs, kids. No lying happening. You also mentioned you became friends with Brianna during the filming of Ocean's 8, right? Well, I mean, like, yes, she's been nice to me. I have her phone number. I think she's changed it recently, though, because she hasn't texted me back. So you don't still keep in touch? Um, well, I, I just interviewed her for Interview Magazine, so we had a nice phone call. Yeah. She ever come to you for relationship advice? Mm, no. What about acting advice? No. Do you wish she would? No. <laughs> no. I, I, look at her. Umbrella, Ella. I love her. At any point during this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you? No. You didn't ask me anything scary. This, you guys suck, basically. You could have come up with something that would have really put me on the spot, but you didn't. Have you ever committed murder? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, I've committed several murders. Is there movement that indicates that that's a lie? <laughs> I think the machine knew that you were making a joke. This is a fake lie detector test, you guys. I lied 30 times during this, FYI. That's, uh, that's your first lie. You were being truthful until then. Damn. You could tell? 